All right, so I doubt that it's gonna be light enough winds for you guys to really hear me out here, but we're out on the beach and we're gonna go try and catch us a pompano. Looks like there's a couple people out there already. Waves actually look pretty fun. I'm gonna go ahead and find myself a nice spot to set up where there's no people. And I'm gonna be looking for the main three things. Water moving or current. I'm gonna be looking for bait. And I'm gonna be looking for structure, which is sandbars, deep holes out here. Piece of trash, I guess as well. Yeah, we're out here, people. Let's see what happens. Today I got the Saragossa and I got the Battle 2 with me. Both have treated me exceptionally well out here. Right about here. Right about here. Time to start getting set up. Get, let's get out there. Folks, if you ever see people out fishing in the same spot where you want to fish too, just be a nice, courteous fisherman and do what you would want somebody else to do. Move down the beach from them, out of their way, give them their space, and then you get yourself a nice uncrowded spot to fish as well. One of my biggest pet peeves is when I come out here on the sand and people want to stack up and drop their setup right on top of you. That is easily one of the biggest things that gets me annoyed out here. But if you don't know, you'll never learn. I'll tell you what, we're out here. And we're gonna see if we can get them today. Okay, we are in the money, y'all. Walk back, keep that bail open. Let that line sink down all the way. Check your drag nice and loose. You do not need tight drag to catch a pompano. You actually want quite the opposite. You want this line to be just loose enough so when they pick it up and run with it, they're gonna pull drag and set that hook on themselves. See if we can get him to bite. There he is. guys big or small we love them all let's go ahead and check this rod more than likely gonna have a nice whiting on here I don't think we're gonna have any studs but big or small we love them all new species we're multi-species angling today guys well see you dude and there he goes all right let's 
let's get this guy out there and let's get to the other one. Right over the back of that second wave. Oh, whatever we got, he's on there. And that is the right fish. Now that is the right fish, okay. Keep that line tight. Tighten up my drag a couple clicks. We're not doing no Hollywood drag over here, people. Save that for another time. So when these pompano eat, they get real sporadic. They start swimming in, they swim side to side on you. When you get a chance and he lets you gain line, gain line on him. Nice and easy. You can tell when it's a pompano, typically because they will swim left and right. Jax will do the same thing, but since we are not going after Jax today, I'm gonna pretend this is a little pompano. And it's not, it's a jack. It's a jack and a humongous whiting, okay. This afternoon I am not really keeping fish, but I'd like to say this is a solid, maybe 15 and a half, maybe even 16 inch whiting, which are by far some of the slimiest fish you will ever encounter. We'll send them off. If this weren't just a strike mission after work, these whiting would be coming home with me. They're honestly some of my favorite eating. Bar none, one of the best tasting surf fish you could ever catch. All right guys, I literally cast it out, turned my back to go check the other rod. And this one was already getting hit. That's a nice fish. Nice and smooth. Just in case he is our golden friend. Ah, that would explain why. There's a double. We got another jack and whiting. There's one of them. There's the other one. Adios. There we go, guys. As soon as I'm done reeling in that one, this one's already getting bit. I'm gonna go ahead and reel down. There we go. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. 
Always get tight first and reel. Keep reeling, make sure that hook sets itself when you're using circle hooks, you do not set the hook on them. You just keep reeling nice and steady. If you can keep the line tight and the rod tip bent, you can crank down the drag just a little bit. And I gotta say y'all, what's better than being out here in absolute perfect conditions, sun setting behind me, no one's on the beach out here. We are living the dream. Now let's see what we got here coming in. Hey, Mr. Whiting. So I have definitely have found the Whiting hole today. If this is your first time to my channel and you are enjoying what you're seeing, please go ahead and give me a like. If you have anything to say, leave a comment. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button because then that gives me more people to come out here and make these videos for. So I really do appreciate everybody and your support. Let's get right back to it. All right. So something's hungry. still on there. I can feel some head shakes. All right, guys. Have one on. We are coming to the end of this fishing session here. I want to tell you, I would have been able to get out and fish for a lot longer if I didn't forget my bait. I've got to give a huge shout out to the guys over at Man Overboard Bait and Tackle. They always do a fine job at hooking me up with some of the best bait. And if you are ever in the O'Galley area, Indian Harbor Beach, Satellite Beach area, Swing by there and tell them that east side sent you. All right, here we go. So we got a little bit of a bigger jack. Okay, y'all. Got us a nice big, I don't know, let's say a three quarters of a pound jack. Adios. I can see something messing with it. That fish has probably hooked itself. It ain't going nowhere. Keep one rod real short. Make it a lot easier on ourselves to manage. Now we'll tend to this rod. All right. So we've got some head shakes. If we had a school of jacks show up, then I can guess that this is also a jack. Pompano are in the same family that jacks are in. Same thing with Permit, Blue Runners. They're all pretty much the same fish. Guys, we're just gonna walk back since he's up on the dry sand. There we have it, we got a nice whiting. This whiting did himself a favor and de-hooked himself. All right, young man. I'll let you go back, grow a little bit. Adios. 